Today's words of wisdom. To disclose one's inner power will be presented in Spanish and English with subtitles in Arabic. I would like to use third Vietnamese, Chinese, Dutch, English, French, German, Hebrew, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Thai, Turkish, Urdu, and Spanish. More languages are available online. For your special language, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash subtitles. Costa Rica, conocida como la joya de América Central, está localizada entre Nicaragua y Panamá. El nombre de Costa Rica le fue dado por Cristóbal Colón y sus exploradores, quienes esperaban encontrar oro allí. Esta pacífica nación fue el primer país del mundo en abolir su ejército. Como república democrática con una fuerte constitución, Costa Rica es considerada uno de los países más estables de Centroamérica. Por tanto, a menudo se hace referencia a ella como la Suiza de las Américas. Actualmente, Costa Rica se destaca por tener el nivel de vida más alto de Centroamérica, así como el índice de alfabetismo más alto y mayor esperanza de vida. Costa Rica también es un país donde un tercio de los escaños parlamentarios están ocupados por mujeres. Durante décadas, esta pequeña nación ha destacado por su relativa estabilidad en la región, presumiendo uno de los sistemas más desarrollados de asistencia social. Los recursos de Costa Rica incluyen sus fértiles suelos y abundantes precipitaciones. Sus selvas contienen ricas plantaciones de ébano, balsa, caoba y cedro. En Costa Rica se encuentran más de mil especies de orquídeas. La vida silvestre es abundante e incluye pumas, jaguares, ciervos, monos y aves. Entre las coloridas aves que pueden verse en Costa Rica están el quetzal, el guacamayo y el tucán. Célebre por su belleza natural y sus cordiales habitantes, Costa Rica ha estado implementando activamente políticas que respetan el medio ambiente. Así, más del 25% de Costa Rica se compone de bosques protegidos y reservas. Costa Rica fue uno de los primeros países y el más activo en participar en el cambio de deuda por naturaleza, el cual cancela algunas deudas nacionales a cambio de proteger una cantidad específica de tierras de la degradación medioambiental. El iluminado enfoque de conservación del país ha asegurado que las exuberantes selvas sean el lugar de monos juguetones, lánguidos perezosos, cocodrilos, innumerables lagartos, ranas dardo venenosas, insectos, mariposas y al menos 600 especies de aves. Un aspecto importante del legado cultural de Costa Rica es el amor de este país por la paz y la democracia. Los costarricenses se enorgullecen de tener más de 100 años de tradición democrática y casi medio siglo sin un ejército. El expresidente costarricense Oscar Arias Sánchez fue el primer premio Nobel de su nación. Fue galardonado con el premio Nobel de la Paz en 1987 por sus esfuerzos por terminar la guerra civil en varios países de América Central. En esta tierra de exquisita belleza natural y tranquilidad, los costarricenses están más cerca de Dios debido a su amabilidad, hospitalidad y amor por la paz. Para satisfacer su anhelo de conocimiento de Dios, sinceros buscadores de la verdad invitaron a la Maestra Suprema Xinhai a Costa Rica para compartir su sabiduría y reflexiones sobre Dios y la iluminación. Les invitamos ahora a escuchar la siguiente conferencia titulada Descubrir nuestro poder interno ofrecida por la Maestra Suprema Chinhai el 8 de junio de 1989 en Costa Rica.
Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. The first question, uh, when going back to the common life after this conference, what's your counsel? What's the first thing one should do? Oh, is that you, you write your name and, and say that you want to get initiated, to get enlightenment on the information that's outside. <laughs> that's the first thing you have to do. <laughs> And the second, read the requirements for that. And then the third, you will get enlightenment. <laughs> so simple. Yeah. How is it possible to see you privately? Are you staying here yeah, to I, teach for a short or long time? Uh, yes. Or are you leaving soon? I leave on the 11th to Brazil and Argentina. La pregunta era si va a estar algún tiempo aquí. Dice que el día 11 sale para la Argentina. Because I'm on a world tour. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you may see me if there is really something urgent. Otherwise, you might ask me sometimes later after this, after the lecture, you may ask me again in private. If it's something really urgent, you need to tell me in private. Eh, And so you're welcome. Solo si es muy urgente puede verla en privado al terminar la conferencia. How can one stop suffering? By getting happiness. <laughs> ¿Cómo puede dejar de sufrir? La pregunta dice obteniendo la felicidad. The great source of happiness is the comfort from God, which you get after enlightenment and repeating enlightening every day, getting happiness doses <laughs> and less suffering. Just like the doctor gives you medicine and you get less and less pain every day, more and more strength. Uh, what is exactly initiation? The initiation is that it I is an uh, invisible process. La iniciación es un proceso invisible. It's not to be even described by words. No se puede describir en palabras. However, I will talk for many hours. But then, when you get transmission, we don't talk then. Pero hablaré muchas horas, pero cuando yes. recibe la transmisión, no hay palabras. I will talk about how you sit, how you get concentration, how you get the blessing of God, and how to behold it every day, how to avoid pitfalls, how to strengthen your faith, how to get a better, a closer to God each day, how to practice that in everyday life, how to bring the God's blessing into everyday life, and this I will talk about. But the method is completely silent. I will transmit it in utter silence, and then you will get enlightenment. Not that you get nothing. You get enlightenment, but in silence. And I transmit it also in silence. So there is nothing much to talk about that. Except you will get immediate enlightenment. You will get into contact with God, and you will see some experience, something to stimulate your faith and your devotion every day. If you do not see some glimpses of God and hear some of His wondrous sounds, and you may not be able to, to know Him, yeah? And you will not sure whether God really exists. So you should have some glimpse of Him, and then every day you get blessing from Him. You know it for sure that God really exists, that God really loves you, that God really bless you. The method is not to we talk about. I will talk about the concentration, how you sit, how you get blessing, and how you meditate every day. But the method is in silence, and you will get enlightenment also in silence. But you will get enlightenment. Sí, el método se realiza en el silencio y también consigue la iluminación. It's a very shortcut to God. 
Ese es un atajo muy corto hacia, hacia Dios. Save time. Yeah. La próxima pregunta es, ¿qué es amor? Next question is, what is love? What is love? ¿Qué es amor? Is this. Es esto. <laughs> When you feel very close to someone, very friendly to someone, and very one with that someone, that is love. Cuando usted está muy cerca de alguien y él se siente muy amigo de él, eso es amor. When you feel that despite all your shortcomings and your failures and your egos, someone still protect you, guides you, love you and help you, bless you, that is love. Cuando a pesar de todos tus defectos y errores tienes a alguien que te ama, que te bendice, que te cuida, eso es amor. A love of a faithful friend, a love of a, a wife, a husband, a children to parents, parents to children, that is a small part of the cosmic love of God. El amor de la esposa, de la madre, del hijo, ese es parte del amor cósmico. But God's love is many thousands, millions, and limitless more times than this of our mortal love. Pero el amor de Dios es mil veces, millones de veces mayor que el amor mortal. I cannot convey his love, but I can lead you into his love to experience yourself and to bath in it, to enjoy it, and to get spoiled by it. Yo puedo llevarlos a ese gran amor para que se bañen en él, para que lo disfruten y lo vivan. And then you will realize that there is nothing in this world We can compare with that. Y entonces se darán cuenta de que no hay nada en este mundo comparado con ese amor. Even the most, uh, the happiest moment in this life cannot compare to the ecstasy that when you are deep in the presence of God's love. Aún el momento más feliz que ustedes puedan disfrutar en esta vida no se puede comparar con el amor de Dios. La, la próxima pregunta es, ¿cómo, haces para, ¿cómo hacer para liberarse de los deseos si son más fuertes que el dominio de ellos? How can you free yourself from wishes if they are too strong to keep yeah. control on them? Ajá. Uh -huh. This is a very good question. Es una pregunta muy buena. We do not suppress our desire. Nosotros no suprimimos nuestro deseo. We hardly can do it. Difícilmente lo podemos hacer. Only God can. Solo Dios puede. When we are in God's presence or we contact with God after initiation, we feel less and less desire cuando anything in this world. Cuando estamos ante la presencia de Dios después de la iniciación, cada vez será menor el deseo. We enjoy but we do not desire. Disfrutamos pero no deseamos. It will fill our inner beings to the full. That we don't feel we need anything, but then we will have everything. Él llenará nuestro ser interno de tal modo que no desearemos nada. I feel happy every moment. I feel fulfilled, satisfied every moment of my life. Yo me It siento. is because He fills my inner being with all what I need. Yo me siento feliz cada minuto de mi vida porque Él llena todo mi corazón. You may think because I live in a very big and beautiful temple that I'm happy. No. Ustedes pueden creer que porque vivo en un templo muy lindo soy feliz. No es I así. live in a tent. Yo vivo, yo vivo en una tienda. In the forest. En el bosque. My disciples also all live in tents. Y mis discípulos también viven en tiendas. You may think that um, I get a lot of offerings of money, so I'm happy. No, Usted, I don't take offering. Ustedes pueden pensar que es que recibo mucho dinero como ayuda. No, yo no acepto eso. You may think people come and bow to me full length prostration on the ground, so I feel very proud and happy. No. Ustedes pueden pensar que yo me siento muy feliz porque la gente viene y se inclina hasta el piso delante de mí. I no. don't let anyone prostrate to me. Yo no les permito que se postren ante mí. 
Tell them prostrate to your own God inside. Yo les digo que se postren ante el Dios que está eh, en ellos. Buddha is de within ellos. you. God is within you. Dios está dentro de ti. Develop it yourself and worship yourself because you are so great. Debe, de, desarrolla este Dios que tienes dentro de ti porque eres grande. Knowing ourselves to be great and being proud are two different things. Saber lo que somos y estar orgullosos son dos cosas diferentes. When we know how great we are, we become very humble. Cuando nos damos cuenta de lo grandes que somos, nos volvemos muy humildes. Yeah. To be proud in any form in this world, it is a kind of inferior feeling. El, el ser orgulloso en este mundo es un sentimiento inferior. Yes. It's just a, a, another way of Inferiority es, complex. Es otro modo de expresar nuestro complejo de inferioridad. Yes, because you don't know how great you are, you think you are only that great. Porque no sabes cuán grande eres, crees que eres así de grande. You think you are a doctor, so you're proud. Eh, crees que eres un doctor, entonces estás orgulloso. You think orgulloso. you're a professor, so you're proud. Eres, cre crees que eres un profesor, entonces estás orgulloso. No, you are God. Pero no, tú eres Dios. If you are proud to be professor, that means you look down upon yourself. Si estás orgulloso de ser profesor, eh, realmente no te estás valorando. You underestimate your position no, in God's universe. No estás estimando tu posición en el universo de so, Dios. I say it's another kind of inferiority complex. Por eso digo que es otro tipo de, com de complejo de inferioridad. Unconscious. Oh, otra pregunta. Una vez que se ha visto y sentido la iluminación, ¿Es de seguro que se podrá concluir el camino hacia Dios? Once you have seen and felt enlightenment, is it for sure that you have finished your way towards God? Once you are enlightened, you are not yet finished. <laughs> Una vez que has recibido la iluminación, no has terminado. You only begin. Solo empiezas. Begin to walk your way home. Empiezas a caminar hacia el camino de so, Dios. Every day we must walk. De manera que todos los días debemos caminar. Enlightenment means now you know this is the way home. Now every day we continue to walk without being astray or la, feeling of loss. La iluminación mm -hmm. es empezar a caminar sin sentirnos ya perdidos. So every day we must strengthen this connection with God. De manera que cada día debemos fortalecer esta relación con Dios. Yes. And this I also tell you how to do. Y esto también yo te diré cómo hacerlo. The initiation is only the beginning, and after that, uh, the master has to look after the process of the coming interest, the seekers, yeah, until he or she fully develop, and then the work of the master is finished. La iluminación es solamente el el el, el comienzo, y luego el maestro. Debe vigilar y cuidar el desarrollo. It's like when you enroll in the college, the professor has to teach you until you get a PhD. Es como cuando te matriculas en la universidad, el profesor tiene que cuidarte hasta que logras tu doctorado. And then you may become also a professor. Entonces también tú puedes convertirte en profesor. Same level with him. Y hablarle el mismo idioma que él habla. Yeah. Are you going to show us the way today? Nos va mm -hmm. a enseñar usted el camino hoy. Yes, if we have time, if you are interested. Sí, si tenemos tiempo, si tienen interés. If not, we arrange for another time because I do not know how long we may stay in this college. You see, sometimes uh, time limit. Y si no, podemos arreglarlo en otro momento porque no sé cuánto tiempo podemos estar en este lugar. You cannot wait. No pueden esperar. Mm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You feel so eager. Yeah, I understand this feeling. Tienen tanto interés. Yo comprendo ese I sentimiento. Know this. I know this. Yo sé. It's Yo more comprendo. than when we hunger. Yeah. Es como cuando tenemos hambre. It's more desperate than when we are thirsty. Como cuando tenemos sed. I will try to accompany your wish. <laughs> de manera que yo trataré de llenar su deseo. Yeah. We can only stay here until 10 o'clock. Now. If some of you want, then we could follow to my place and do it there. But then it will be until after midnight, maybe until two, three o'clock in the morning. If that's all right with you, 
then it's all right with me. Podemos estar aquí hasta las 10 y luego en mi lugar hasta las 12 si ustedes tienen interés o incluso las 2 de la mañana. If not, we arrange it in a more spacious time, yeah, in one day time, in tomorrow day time or something like that. Right? Y si no lo arreglamos mañana durante el día con más tiempo. Uh, quisiera llevar una vida espiritual. Vivo junto a mis hijos. Los qui lo los quis quisiera comunicarme con usted. I would like to have a spiritual life. I live along with my children. I would like to communicate with you. Okay. Está bien. <laughs> uh, otra pregunta en español. Cuando Jesús dice que la única forma de llegar al padre, que la única forma de llegar al padre, ¿qué quiso decir? ¿Y cuál es su posición con respecto a esta afirmación? Uh, when Jesus says that the only way is through to him, to him, him, to him, what did he mean? No one comes to the Father except, except through, me. through yeah. me. What did he mean? And what is your position in respect to this uh, statement? I fully agree with him. Uh, yo estoy completamente de acuerdo con esto. What he means is that when he was there, he is the way. He is the light of the world. In fact, he also says so. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Sí, estoy completamente de acuerdo con eso. Y él dijo que él era la vida, sí. la luz, el camino. Y en tanto que él estuvo en el mundo, así fue. But he said, as long as I am in this world. Tan, yeah? Y él dijo, en tanto yo estoy en este mundo. What he means is that when a living master is alive, he should follow the light from the master and to go home. If the master is gone, follow another one which succeeds him to come down. Therefore, after Jesus has uh, gone back to the kingdom of God, he handed the key to Peter, no? <laughs> Esto quiere decir que cuando el maestro se va, entonces hay que seguir a otro. De hecho, Jesús antes de irse le dio las llaves a Pedro, ¿verdad? The key of Peter is here. La llave de Pedro está aquí. I have it now. Yo la tengo ahora. <laughs> Otra pregunta. ¿Cómo seguir sus enseñanzas desde nuestro país? How can we follow your teachings from our country here, Costa Rica? There's no difference. What I teach, no different from Jesus. You already follow some part of it. No hay diferencia. <clears throat> Ustedes tienen las enseñanzas de Jesucristo. Right. The yo, ten commandments, los, the diez, los diez mandamientos. And then I only add the illumination. Yo solo añado la iluminación. The connect with Jesus. La conexión con Jesús. With God. Con Dios. Then you may directly communicate with Jesus or with God and then ask them yourself. De manera que ustedes podrán comunicarse con Jesús o con Dios. You may see Jesus. Podrán ver a Jesús. Through our meditation. A través de nuestra and meditación. Through, through our transmission. You may see even at the time of initiation, the first minutes of your sitting. Incluso podrán ver a Jesús en los durante los primeros minutos de su iniciación. If your faith is strong enough. Si su fe es suficientemente fuerte. Some of my disciples already seen. Algunos de mis discípulos ya lo han visto. Yeah. They only are initiated for a few days. Y ellos solamente se han iniciado hace unos pocos días. Okay. Muy bien. But also, you must know the Ten Commandments. One commandment is that thou shalt not kill. De manera que saben muy bien los diez mandamientos y el más importante que dice, no matarás. Now, most of us think we should not kill human beings only. Nosotros pensamos que no debemos matar seres humanos únicamente. But God doesn't mean that. Pero Dios no quiere decir eso. I mean, we should not kill any living beings. Dice que no debemos matar ningún ser viviente. Including our young brothers and sisters, like the animals. Incluyendo nuestros hermanos y hermanas animales. So, I may request you to understand the deeper meaning of not killing means to lead a very um, loving life and not to touch anything like the Bible say, don't eat anything by the eating of, of which make your brother stumble and fail. Remember? De manera que hay que vivir una vida amorosa y no matar ningún ser viviente 
y ni nada que haga que el hermano caiga. And don't be among the meat eaters and the wine drinkers. No estéis entre los bebedores de vino y los comedores de carne. So that's the real meaning of non-killing. Ese es el verdadero significado de no matar. Don't kill even animals and don't eat them. No mates animales y no los comas. Because if we eat, others have to kill. Porque si nosotros comemos, los otros tendrán que matar. So it's indirect killing also. De manera que es una forma de una yeah. forma indirecta de matar. That's the only thing I want to call your attention to the deep understanding of the Bible's Ten Commandments. De manera que yo quiero que mediten mucho y muy bien en, los, en el significado de los diez mandamientos de la Biblia. Otherwise, nothing else that I teach that is new. I only awaken your inner self. I don't teach anything new. De otra manera, este, yo no estaría enseñándoles nada nuevo. Todo está en la Biblia. ¿Qué? No muy bien. You may say, the Bible don't tell us to eat vegetarian. Right? I want to remind you, many passages, uh, phrases in the Bible which say we should not eat meat and drink white. Like, meat and the belly, belly for the meat, and God will destroy them both, the meat and the belly. Quiero recordarles algunos pasajes de la Biblia que hablan de que no debemos eh, matar animales. Don't be among meat eaters and wine drinkers. No, se, no esté entre los bebedores de vino y los comedores de carne. So what that mean? ¿Qué quiere decir what eso? Does that mean? ¿Qué significa? So, also in the Bible it is say that God was angry once. En la Biblia dice también que Dios se enojó una vez. Somebody require him to give them meat. Alguien le dijo que le, que les diera carne. And God uh, used a power, a magical transformation to pour down meat like rain to them. Y Dios hizo el milagro para darles eh, carne en forma de grano. But after that, he slain all of them. Pero después de eso, los castigó. No. Sí. Yes. Mm. Also, in the Bible, another passage is say so. Eh. Do not kill the bullocks, the sheep, to make offering to me, mean to God. Uh, wash yourself of the innocent blood so that I might forgive your sin, repent your sin, otherwise I will not listen to your prayers because your hands are full of innocent blood. No mates las ovejas, lava tus manos de la sangre, no vengas ante mi presencia con sangre en tus manos, porque no te escucharé. Yes. If God forbid us to kill animals in order to make offering to him, how would he Permit us to kill, to offer to ourselves. Are we greater than God? Si Dios no nos acepta, entonces que matemos animales eh, para sacrificarlos, debemos poner atención a eso. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Vegetarianism in religion. The Baha'i Faith. Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism. All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Also, after the birth of the baby, Care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat, because at the difficult time of birth there are innumerable evil demons, monsters and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Kasiti Garba Sutra be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying, or creating evil karma by worshipping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, 
making it even deeper and more serious. Thus, delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Kasiti Garba Sutra. Cow die. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints. Christianity. Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. And if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adelila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith. Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been specially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Katanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta. ¿Debe el hombre crear o guardar algún tipo de energía interna para alcanzar a Dios? Should man create or keep some type of inner energy oh, to, no. a, to reach God? No, no. <laughs> uh, if, you believe, if you believe in this school, you may follow them, yes? But our uh, method is not to create anything. It's only to awaken the inner man. Uh, awaken the inner power. Eh, it's si usted, naturally, it's already there. Si usted cree en algunas de esas escuelas, pues sígalas. Pero nuestro método no es para crear nada, es para despertar esa energía que ya existe en nosotros. Mm. Because everything man-made is man-made thing. <laughs> everything already exists and natural is God-made. Porque todo lo que el hombre hace es hecho de manos humanas. La naturaleza es hecha por Dios.
Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Apreciamos su presencia para la elevadora conferencia de la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, Descubrir Nuestro Poder Interno, en palabras de sabiduría. Ya llega un viaje a través de los reinos estéticos, después de noticias de interés, aquí en Supreme Master Television. Permanezca con nosotros, que sus días estén llenos de la amorosa gracia de Dios. We appreciate your presence for Supreme Master Ching Hai's elevating lecture to disclose one's inner power on words of wisdom. A journey through aesthetic realms is coming up next right after Noteworthy News here on Supreme Master Television. Please stay tuned. May your days be filled with God's loving grace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash W-O-W.